something. To have an actor uh, of that uh, uh, reputation and performance uh, here with us. So, uh, Manolo Sidre, our Secretary of Economic Development and Commerce, my congratulations to you and your team, to Rossi as well, for making this project a reality, and for all those who are monitoring Puerto Rico. I mentioned tax credits. Well, we have introduced a bill before our legislature um, providing for a very significant increase in the amount of tax credits that our government can uh, offer on a year-to-year -year basis because uh, this is proven success. So, uh, lots of success to all of you. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching the play. Uh, gracias, enhorabuena. The performance of Gerald Butler in the plane will transport the audience to an island where a commercial airline pilot managed to make a forced landing only to, the, only to discover that the island is a war zone where they are stuck by pirates and the main objective of the protagonism is to keep his passengers alive and safe long enough while he works on finding a way out. I am picturing everything just like I said in my mind. And that because the cinema is a magical industry where we can transport ourselves in time and place. We cannot thank enough the entire production of the plane. Muchas gracias. De nada. Yeah. <laughs> for choosing Puerto Rico as the perfect location for the multi-million dollar project. This project will not only generate a direct investment of $65 million, which represents 136 million in economic impact, as mentioned by the government, but most importantly, it will show the world, once again, the caliber of our workforce and the wonderful resource and the scenery that Puerto Rico offers. In addition to the jobs created for Puerto Rican talents, also this project generating an investment in salaries of $19 million for North American workers who are living here in the island during the month of filming. The project will have an automatic impact to the treasure of $3.8 million dollars paid to the Department of Treasure and it's not withholding for those salaries. There is no better example that the tax incentive we offer really work. From 2019 to 2021, the film industry generated economic activity of $1.1 billion. I am not just saying this. This information was included in the August 2021 report by presented by Studios Technicos. So far in 2021, the film industry has generated $31 million in salaries paid to Puerto Ricans who live, pay taxes, and contribute to the economy of our island, Puerto Rico. The film industry is developing and Puerto Rico is the best place to film because all of us are desarrolling. You know, your, the film industry are very similar to my business. I am in the bakery business. So to make a good bread, we need actors. You need actors. I need ingredients. Cameras, I need machinery. Talent, I need bakers. So at the end, location is of the essence of a success bakery. So I congratulate you and your team to choose Puerto Rico to be your location for this fantastic film. Thank you on behalf of Puerto Rico. Thank you. One of the coolest is Mr. Alan Silo, who I live with you right now. Um, I have made such a very good friend here in, in Puerto Rico since I came like two months ago. And you, you are the best, you are the best. Actually, I've, I've worked with uh, Jared Butler for 24 years and between us we've, we've made over 18 or 20 uh, feature films uh, so far. We have more in the pan, but um, I've never met anyone quite like you in terms of producing, affability, um, giving us so much support here in Puerto Rico. I can't thank you enough, Luigi. You've been, you've been so terrific. Thank you, Anna. No, thank you for saying it, that. It mean, no, it means so much to us. Um, you have taken us in hand and made us feel not like strangers, but part of the family. So thank you so much. And you are. Anyway. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm coming over tonight for dinner. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and Governor, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Um, all you big shots, uh, thank you for coming out today. I just want to say that Puerto Rico has become uh, my new favorite place. Um, 
we've done so many movies, and the crew here, I have to say, is beyond excellent. Um, these people are working so hard to make this movie so good, and we've worked in the jungle, we've worked in, you know, in, in neighborhoods that were, you know, not, not of the best, um, for its people, and we worked in the hard, hot sun, and the crew members have never failed to excite us, to motivate us. Um, they are the most incredible people that we've ever worked with. So I want to say to the crew and to the, the talented crew, so talented, you can't find a more talented crew in Hollywood itself. So I, I thank them so much for being here for us, um, for taking such good care of us. The hotels, I have to say something about the hotel. We're staying at a beautiful, beautiful hotel and like they have like totally put out the red carpets for us, have taken care of us, and again, made us feel um, like a family. So I just want to thank every um, everyone who has worked with us, who we met on the streets, just lovely, lovely, affable, kind, sweet people. And yo soy Puerto Riqueño ahora. Can you just share, you know, your impressions of having worked in Puerto Rico and with Puerto Ricans and how the filming has gone? Um, yeah, it's, this has been, a, it's been a joy to work here. I, I came here once before for one day, passing through Puerto Rico, and I remember saying to my friends, God, I felt like every person I met could be my best friend. They were so nice, whoever I met. So that's carried on, you know, having a chance to actually spend some time here and work closely with, the, with Puerto Rican people. They're so warm and friendly and they work hard and it's been really awesome. And it's had to be because this has been, it's a hard movie, it's a survival movie. We're going through so much people you really need the kind of the best people to make that kind of movie because it's easy to see, to see people start to watch two hearts to this but there's been none of that they've really been very working hard and, and very very warm and friendly so would you come back to film again oh yeah yeah, yeah. maybe not maybe, maybe not midsummer sorry i thought you were giving me your phone I'm uh, like, no, okay. i don't know who that is but i'll take this one <laughs> I'm so used to being given that when I'm filming, you know, people come up and they pass me things. So anytime something comes out, I just take it. <laughs> so you would come back, but not midsummer, not so hot. Well, it's just you know, <laughs> filming in the middle of summer is big because all this movies outside and, and you know a lot of it's outside. So yeah, yeah. but already it's starting to cool. This is perfect now. Yeah, this is great. Thank you. Uh, I hope everybody survives here. <laughs>